Welcome to today's edition of CLC TV. I'm Dalton Malls. The CLC Food Pantry has been awarded a $25,000 grant to address food insecurity. CLC is one of only five schools nationally to receive this funding from the Food Recovery Network, a national organization addressing hunger and food waste. Earlier, Owen Kircher visited the Food Pantry on the Brainerd campus to learn more about how it works and who it serves. Did you know students at CLC have access to free food? Located in the hub on the Brainerd campus, you could find all sorts of food up for grabs and many other things. The food pantry is our kind of main area on campus where students can get access to free food and resources, even things beyond food like housing resources, transportation, student parent supports mental health resources and such. The food pantry is a great spot if you're struggling or even if you want to come in for a quick bite to get you through your day. It's also a great spot to sit around to study and relax. There might be some weeks where we're flush with cash and we're able to go out to the food service and enjoy a good meal and there might be other weeks where we're struggling. So that's the importance of the food pantry is to be here in those moments in which students need our help. The food pantry is always accepting donations to make sure students are well fed so they can get through their day here at CLC. Really what we're looking for is items that obviously haven't been opened before or used are still within their best buy dates and then we're able to put those out for students. In Brainerd, I'm Owen Kircher. Central Lakes College will host two performances by Kuniko Yamamoto an internationally acclaimed performer known for blending traditional Japanese storytelling with theatrical flair. Yamamoto will appear November 7th at noon as part of the monthly Cultural Thursdays program, featuring a traditional Japanese tea. Later that evening, she'll perform a show titled Magical Mask, Music and Mime of Japan. Both events will take place at the Childberg Theater and are open to the public. The noon event is free and tickets for the 6 p.m. performance are available for purchase at the CLC box office. Listening to music can be relaxing, but many opportunities exist if you want to create music with others right here on campus. Nick Jewell has the story. The music department at CLC offers a wide variety of music ensembles and degree options. The Central Lakes Wind Symphony includes over 100 CLC students and community members, and they rehearse every Monday night throughout the semester. But if Wind Symphony isn't your thing, the music department also offers a jazz orchestra and multiple choirs for almost anyone with a musical interest to choose from. You know how I feel. Levi Trigstad is a work-study student here at the music department and is involved in almost all of the ensembles. The Wind Symphony, Jazz Orchestra, Concert Band, Concert Jazz Band. I also do Chamber Singers. I'm one of two work studies, so spending 90% of my day in the music department is, is a joy, and I love, love, really love what I'm doing. As you can see, there are many opportunities for both students and community members to get involved in music here at CLC. This is Nick Jewell, CLC TV. In sports, CLC head basketball coach Jim Russell is the newest member of the Western Colorado University Athletic Hall of Fame. Russell was an assistant coach for the 22 Mountaineers men's basketball team that went to the NCAA Division II tournament. Here on campus, Sophia Lemke checked in with the Raiders volleyball team, which is enjoying some success focusing on teamwork and a new coach. The team's just a joy to be on. I just have a good time with these girls, and they're just the best team that I've ever played on, and not to bash my other teams, but, and the coaching staff is just really, like, helpful, and just really, they're good coaches. Kate Travis has a right to be excited, as the CLC volleyball team is headed on the right track to nationals. We have a good chance of getting there, but we just have to compete really hard and work really hard towards it, giving, like, 100% every practice and just working well as a team and keeping that bond together so that we can connect and play well together. Raiders are 15-5 on the season and are responding well to the first year head coach, Michaela Loudenbach. We're on the road, we're on the track there and just 
practicing tough every day really pays into that and everyone giving it their all and that's really where we want to end up. Play with like a high mentality of it because volleyball is tough and it's a big mental sport so if you keep your head in the game then you'll be in the game always. Reporting in Brainerd, I'm Sophia Lemke, CLC TV. As the semester progresses, students around campus are looking for comfortable spaces to study and read. Earlier, I went on a mission to find some quiet places here on campus. Oh hey, I didn't see you there. I'm studying in my favorite quiet place. Shh, this is why this is my favorite spot. All this knowledge, all here to help you out, no matter what class, circumstance, or anything like that you're in. Let me take you to some other spots that you probably didn't know about. And here, the Fireside Lounge. All this empty space, aesthetics, calm, peaceful, and keen to the eye. This is one of many spots between hallways that you can come and relax. Nature, the outdoors, a whole bunch of stuff you can listen to. Not only is it peaceful, but not a lot of people walk through here. This has been Dalton Malls, CLC TV. And that concludes this edition of our show. Thank you for watching CLC TV, and have a great day.